fix shit because I can see all the things that I still need to fix on it but like it's cool feeling ripping the skyline again um, yeah to be fair it always needed work so nothing new but I don't know it's been a long time I'm happy it's on the road again and this is just like I don't know after all of the work that I've done on it in the last like two years nothing feels daunting anymore so it's just like you know ironing out all the little kinks This is the f***ing flawless ball. Let's go. Can you cut it so that I get it first try? No, I'm not gonna do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? I think so. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Okay, I'll show you what I did. So, last time we were here, we said it was gonna be a month for an update, and then I was in school, and I was too busy crying every day uh, with homework and finals. But here we are, we're back. Um, what have I even done last time? Um, I got a new battery. Please don't show the battery, because I zip tied it down. That's a secret. Um, right now I'm trying to bleed out the power steering because it's like not working but it's like full of air, but it's full right now. So we'll run it later and um, we'll refill it as we drive around and hopefully it'll get all the air out of the system and work. That'd be crazy. Let's lift it up. I'll show you guys my exhaust. It is leaking. A real man loves his woman every day of the month. <laughs> Dude, well, you don't even have a power steering belt on there. <laughs> There's no pressure. How is it leak pissing out yeah, fluid? No kidding. How is mm, it? That's crazy. Guys, it's fine. <laughs> okay, the turbo elbow right here. Um, so the bolts were cut here. Like these from factory have through bolts that come on, and then you just put like a little nut to put the rest of the exhaust on. But they were cut too short, so I wasn't able to do that. So took it off from the back of the turbo. Which I can't see. Right there. Can you see it? Okay. And then Trevor actually helped me machine this. And then we ground the back off so that I could put hardware there. And then I put this crazy gasket from Lord Co. with exhaust uh, cement because we don't want any exhaust leaks. And then I just put the exhaust on. And then here's my exhaust. It's a Blitzner spec. It's very dirty, very disgusting. But that's fine. It just matches me. Okay. What's so left to fix? And you'd be like happy and driving it full time. Power steering. Um, I need to bleed the brakes some more because they were not existent. Mm. Um, 
which is why we cut the rolling short. We were gonna do more rollers, but yeah, it was sketchy. It was so yeah, it was not sketchy. Sa not safe. Need new gas. It was misfiring a little bit at the beginning, and then I think once, after it was running for a little bit, it was fine. Yeah, honestly, brakes, power steering. Obviously, I need to attach all the aero and like get it like attached. Like wire up the headlights still. I need a stereo head unit so I can blast some tunes. Uh, yeah, that was super fun to rip it around. Yeah. All right, Sandra got us this for Christmas as a team. It's like a happy build Alphard RC car. So it's like Japanese Lego, I guess. I don't know why that looks like the initial D logo, which is like hilarious. Jake, I like that oh, yeah. one. All right, looks good. Pretty sick. Got a bunch of new products for everyone. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Big ass embroidery this, too. This stuff just comes yeah, flying out of nowhere, see. you know? Yeah, this is super sick. The embroidery is monstrous. There we go, I can see it. That's like, that is the biggest embroidery we've ever done on a product before. It's something new from our supplier, which is really cool. So that's a test. And we're probably gonna drop this on the site soon. Um, if you've bought a hoodie from us before, it's like the same cotton, same base, like manufacturer makes this. So it's yeah. like super like long, comfy, thick cotton, which is rad. And then uh, we're actually gonna switch this sweater that I've been wearing in a couple other videos, um, we're actually gonna move this sweater to that base layer. So I mean, instead of being of like an athletic fit and like kind of like stretchy, it's gonna be more like a comfortable baggy fit. Yeah. It'll fit more people that way, I think. Sure. Yeah. Uh, we got kind of like the same graphic that Alex was wearing here on a hoodie. You know, we're kind of just testing things out. It's all for future products that are gonna be released very soon. So. You see the back? Oh yeah, that's sick. Very cool. Starry Night design. This one's gonna need a bit of a revision, but um, very, very cool. Also on a hoodie here. So kind of got this our starry night design on the front there. Yeah, and then so we'll see the back. Back side's got kind of similar design there. Yeah, but basically cool. like the revision we're gonna make is we're gonna mod the design that's on the back here onto the front because uh, yeah, we thought we try we it. thought we'd try black background to like keep it like all the fine detail intact, but it honestly it just it doesn't it doesn't match the black of the sweater very yeah, nicely, yeah. so it looks a little wacky and we think it might get destroyed by like a dryer. So cool. we're gonna mod it so it's just the checkpoint logo and then some stars with with some fill, maybe drop some of these details. Right, and we've got that. that on a t-shirt as well. Yep. This is actually a new base layer t-shirt for us from a new manufacturer. And we're like, we're actually very excited about that one because it's super, super comfy and it comes in way more colors than we've ever had available before. This here. is an old design of ours. This one's been on the store forever. Um, we actually just ordered this so we could compare like this hoodie to that hoodie and like the small details that you might not think of, like how big these eyelets are, mm -hmm. you know, the way that the, the straps and stuff look. So we got this hoodie as well, Jake. Jake did a really cool job making like a like a gradient design. We wanted to test this one out before releasing it just because obviously when it comes to transparent stuff, we need to make sure that it prints well. And thankfully it printed super, super well. So we're stoked on that one. And we've got that as a t-shirt too. And we checked that one on black. So yeah, looks really, really good. That's dope. Where are you going? Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. We know it's a bit of a short one, but we are super, super stoked to see that Sandra's car is actually moving under its own power and on the road, which means it's actually not that far off from getting super sick and getting wheels and aero and all the other things. Um, but yeah, we wanted to prioritize getting this one out as soon as possible because she's gonna be going away for a little while later this year. I'm going away in like a couple days for a special project and uh, yeah, we just wanted to make sure we had a cool video to follow up the last one about her car so you guys could see it on the channel. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed our video. I hope you enjoyed my car. I hope you enjoy this hoodie that Alex is wearing. Um, we have so many new clothing pieces and merchandise that's very cool that we're very excited about. Um, and I hope that you buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. None of this stuff is out yet, so go oh, buy yeah. the other stuff that we have that's Wait, out. Yeah. We're still working on this, so don't let this 
crazy, crazy woman key delude key. you. Yeah, guys, if you buy a sweater, my skyline might get a paint job. Imagine. Boom. Boom. Boom.